all the stuff again. Admittedly, I put too much milk in this time. Too much milk. Fucking way too much. That's, that's disgusting. You're disgusting. <laughs> so we ended yesterday's video with Jordan's been cleaning up the bulkhead, body filler in that, making it look really smooth. And I made the alternator bracket for this yesterday. But as you can tell by today's title, it's nothing to do with that today. So today we're working on the rest of the fleet. <laughs> uh, daughter's Honda Civic, um, bit of a long story around that but I'll tell it anyway, because we've got plenty of time, haven't we? Um, she had a water leak on it. The radiator had sprung a leak. So we needed to get a new radiator. Tried locally, couldn't get one. Nobody would be able to get us a radiator because it's for a 1986 uh, Gen 3 Civic, but automatic. So it's got an oil cooler in the rad. So yeah, we couldn't get one. And if you're wondering what a Gen 3 Civic looks like, there it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so couldn't get one, so we had to order one from uh, Rock Autos in America. And they sent it out from Germany via France. And it arrived here and we fitted it, but we thought, you know what, we're going to bypass the thermostat. Just to be on the safe side, because uh, we think it's still overheating. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, so... Yeah, so we thought we'd bypass the thermostat, but that didn't work because it must have gone in a bit pissed and it leaked. So today, we're going to change the thermostat. Right then, what do you know? Yeah, what do you know? You can drive a Honda Civic automatic rounds with a cup of tea and only spill a little bit on your balls. Oh, oh. I find that a win. No control, these youngsters. No control. Right then, let's get the bonnet up. So there it is. We gotta get that. Um, if I use my gangly arms, I'll be able to um, show you whereabouts. Oh, it's there, is it? Right there. Oh yeah, where is where the little moist patch is down there? Yes, the moist. moist patch underneath it. Moist patch, moist fucking moist there. Mmm, petroleum. Lovely. Busy. Spannering. This is the usual malarkey. Me yeah. working, him watching. Damn right. I've got age over you. Age. Yeah, as well. What about that? Uh, Someone asked me once if you can catch age from a toilet seat. You can, apparently, if you sit down before the last person gets up. <laughs> You've got long, gangly arms, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <coughs> long, look at smack daddy. He's been trying to get that off now for about 45 minutes. No piss off. Oh. I think if I'm going to say 4.5 hours. Ah, oh, what? I can breathe in it. Oh, oh found, found the problem. Uh oh. Paul's touched it. Yep. Come on, focus. Look at that, look. Now that's a wedged out open thermostat. Uh, on uh, today's, that's fucked up. This is fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> so I didn't do the right action. That's fucked up. <laughs> right then. Well, that's good, isn't it? So we got that out. And we've just got to put the new one in. Haven't we? Uh, yeah, haven't <coughs> we? Yeah. Is it the same or is it something different? No, it's not. It is slightly different. No, it's not. Ooh. Slightly different. No, it's not. It's fine. That one's got nuts welded on. That one doesn't. Ah. But, <coughs> said, slightly different. See, this is a good thing about fixing my daughter's car. 
Now she's got a boyfriend, I don't have to do it. <laughs> Look at that, see? If that leaks, there's only one person to blame now. Oh. Not me! Cracking little motor. Cracking motor. Crazy thing is, that little car, I paid 300 quid for that car about three years ago. And that's really the only grief it's ever given us. It got used to get, if you sat in traffic for quite a while, it used to get hot. But now, I think that was the radio cap all along. Because we just tested the old one, didn't work. Found another second hand one, didn't work. And then, courtesy of the AA, I had a brand new one sitting here. Because obviously when I left that job, I kept all the stuff out of the van, like they said I could. So, and in that lot was a brand new radiator cap. Couldn't have worked out better. It now holds pressure. So, on to the Mini now. I have to go and get it. Right, so now we have the mini round here. Still didn't put the grill on from last time. Um, first job, drain the coolant out because we've got to take the radiator out to change the fan. So, and then we've got to tinker around with that alternator because it's not working. Right, let me drain the coolant out. I've taken the top radios off. So now we just undo the four bolts that hold the shroud on. And then the two at the top here from the bracket as well. Look at that. There is the fan blade. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Mm. So you can't buy them like that. Right. Red's out, fan's off. And now to take that alternator off. And just so everyone knows, this alternator didn't work I'm pretty sure because of my own doings I didn't fit these little insulators to the main that's the main battery post and that's the warning light post so I think where this one wasn't on there that nut was earthing on the body of the alternator holding the uh, circuit uh, down to earth so my own fault pretty sure there's only one way to find out let's put it all back together and uh, put it all back on the car and hope it works. I don't really want to take it off again. So there he is, the now new fiberglass expert. I'm on it. He's on, on it. it. And I'm just about to fit the fan back on. It's so nice out here today. So nice, beautiful sunshine. So let's get this fan on now and then I'm gonna start it up and see if I'll fix the alternator or not. Fingers crossed. All right, here's a good question for you, all you mini nuts. Um, my fan touches the breather and that's got one spacer behind the fan, between the fan, the water pump and the fan. Is that normal? Well, I know it's not normal to touch that, but it's weird, isn't it? Brand new fan as well. We thought the fan we fitted on it before may have been slightly bent, but no, nah, it's coming in. Anyone uh, tell me why I'm just about to fit a second spacer because that should move it out far enough, hopefully. But is that right? Who knows? Yep, so fan is on with second spacer now, and we've now got plenty of clearance. And I've started out. The good news is the alternator works, so it was me missing out that insulator. So now I've got two working alternators. A working fan, see what else I can break when I put it back together. I mean, everything's done that side now. Thought I'd fix another little problem I've got. 
which is this bolt here keeps coming loose so as you can see the uh, the bush has kind of melted against the head so I need to need to fix that so the answer is a pair of new bushes but I've only got one and a washer to go against the head apparently that stops them melting we give it a go Look at him, look. Stuff in his face. And they say I'm the fat one. Well, that's it. Today's video done. Forgot to say goodbye while I was down the garage, so. So did he. There you go. So, uh, all done. Everything seems to be working all right. I've just road tested out the road. Nothing broke. Happy days. So, uh, Friday today, isn't it? So, back again, probably on Monday. See you next week.